Hello Cancer, welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for mid-July 2022 into August or the next 7 to 14 days. All right, Cancer, we're jumping right in with the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. Then we'll go into some Tarot, Tea Leaf, and Love Angel Oracle cards at the end. Okay, Cancer, what do we have for you? Okay, synchronicities and 44. Look up 44 if you wish. Allow this magic to unfold as synchronistic events lead you in a new direction. So if you see something, a sign, um, I was gonna say a shape, um, a bug, a bird, an animal, it could be when you're out and about or something in a book or online, um, follow your nose, okay? There might be some information there that will lead you to something that you've been seeking. Okay, allow the magic to unfold. There's a lot of synchronicities going on for you right now, Cancer. Awesome. All right, we're doing a four card reading situation, challenges, advice, and outcome. Most of my readings weigh on money and career, but any love messages or any other messages that want to come forth are welcome. All right, Cancer, what do we have for you? Do check your other signs too. There could be additional messages there for you. All right, we have the six of coins, balance, giving and receiving. We did get 44 too. So there's four, four um, that has to do with balance. Six has to do with balance too. Okay, so let's go further here and see what else we have for you. Another four, wait a minute, six and four. Okay, gotcha. I am um, like, thinking the number four because of that first card, four and four. And we've got four again. So look up four, 44, and 444. More balance energy here, okay? So this is about hanging on to things too tightly because you are afraid of imbalance, okay? You're afraid of not having enough or never never having what you have now again. It's, um, I'm getting lack of consciousness here. Um, fears having to do with money, possessions, or your home, hanging on to something a little bit too tightly. Cancer for fear that the world is not abundant. And we have the three of wands. There is growth, there's progress here. I feel like someone listening, you're afraid something is too good to be true, even though right before your eyes, you are seeing abundant changes happening. Outcome, we have the Hermit. Okay, so there could be a Virgo in your life or Virgo in your chart, but not necessarily. This is um, gonna be different for everyone. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, but it's time to turn inward, time to realize that you have gained some wisdom on your path in life. Okay, I feel like um, it's time to allow that wisdom to give you confidence, okay? It's like you're really afraid of losing what you have gained or that you will never have the chance to have this success again or this possession again or something like that. Okay, we have um, clarifying, <coughs> excuse me, clarifying the Six of Pentacles. We have the Magician, beautiful. So this could represent a Gemini <coughs> or Gemini energies. Um, you have what it takes to keep going. Cancer and um, it's clarifying the six of pentacles. So this is saying like you have what it takes to keep creating to keep growing and earning and um, You're not going to lose that like the only way you could lose that is if you give up or give into fears <clears throat> All right, so let's clarify the four of pentacles the three of wands and the hermit What else do we have for cancer? Cancer, I feel like you want to give to somebody or you have given to somebody and um, you've helped them out a lot and you want to be able to con continue to do that. But if you were to do that, you would be really strapped financially, okay? So I feel like somebody listening, you feel like saying, like, uh, it's too late for me, but save yourself. And you wanna help everybody else because you think that you can't be helped. But that's the wrong way to think. Help where you can, but not to the point where it's taxing to you. Make sure you pay attention to yourself, your own health, your mind, body, spiritual health. 
and take care of yourself and know that it is okay to have enough money to put into savings. Just because you have a little extra doesn't mean you should give it away. Okay, it's okay to put it in savings. This will help enhance your life. Um, this will help, you know, your loved ones too down the road, like the people you live with. Um, if you have, you know, children or, um, you know, others that you live with in the same household. Um, it's important to not, um, not allow guilt to, um, you know, carry you away. The Four of Pentacles is being clarified by the Hanged Man. So the Hanged Man and the Hermit to me right now are really saying it's time to spend some time alone and reevaluate things. Reevaluate your money situation. I feel like someone's holding on really hard to a job where they make really good money, but they're not too happy there. Okay, so this is something you need to um, think about. The Three of Wands is being clarified by the Nine of Cups. Beautiful wishes coming true. Everything you've been dreaming for is starting to happen, and you're seeing it right before your eyes, Cancer, and you're afraid. You're afraid that it won't be lasting, okay? You're wishing it would be, but you're afraid that it won't be. And I feel like it very well could be as, as long as you change your mindset, like we see here, the Hangman. Time to take a time out see things from a different perspective know that you're okay know that you don't have to hang on for dear life okay it's up to you when you decide to engage maybe you want to engage with you know looking for a new job i feel like somebody listening like financially you're afraid to take that risk because you have a lot of responsibilities this could be children maybe you have young kids that you're raising or you have kids in college um, or you have a really um, expensive property, like with a really high mortgage or something like that. So this is a, a big reevaluation of your possessions and your lifestyle based on the quality of life that you know that you you wish for and need. The Hermit is being clarified by the Two of Swords. Big decision here. Okay, it's time to make that decision. Um, and paired with the hermit, like you have the wisdom to do this. It's not like um, this is your first rodeo or something or something like that. Like you have the wisdom and the knowledge. Like you, you've grown. You have faced a lot of things, and um, you don't really need to be afraid of anything. It's like this choice you've been afraid to make, and you've made it into this big, huge, scary thing that it really isn't. And once you um, review this decision that you need to make, you're going to realize that it's not scary, that everything and everyone is not against you. It's time to let go of that fear. It's like making a mountain out of a molehill type thing. All right, so let's further clarify with the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Yeah, there are a lot of um, synchronistic events that are going to be happening before you. And just follow your nose. If, you, if you're thinking about butterflies and then you see a butterfly, take a moment to observe it. Like, stop and observe it. Take a moment to yourself. Let this be your moment. Don't worry about everything else all around you, just as, as an example. So the Six of Pentacles and the Magician is being clarified by the King of Fire or the King of Wands. Beautiful. Motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision. And don't be sensitive to criticism. Cancer. Yeah. Don't be sensitive to criticism. This is really powerful here in the row with the Six of excuse me, six of pentacles <clears throat> with the magician. Um, the king of wands is very passionate. He knows how to go for what he wants. He knows how to be creative about it. And so does the magician. So the major arcana with the king of, so yeah, the king of wands, I meant. It's really um, powerful energy, Cancer. And I really like that for you. Just let your creativity override any guilt feelings you may be feeling like you should be doing for others all the time whoa got a couple of pop-outs here hang on and neglecting yourself got the lovers okay and this says embrace true love and deep intimate friendships make choices from the heart vibrant health or recovery from an illness very beautiful so there also could be a gemini in your life or strong gemini in your chart um Embrace true love and deep 
intimate friendships, make choices from the heart. Okay, so love yourself first, okay? Make sure you do that, and then it will be easier for you to connect with others and um, choices that you're making about others and who you wish to have in your life, who you wish to work for or work with, okay? Uh, maybe focus on the heart chakra, the color green around the heart chakra. Open up your heart and make sure you're loving yourself while you're opening your heart, okay? Don't just give, give, give to everyone else, but have your heart closed to yourself, Cancer. We have another king card. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a knight. Sorry, I thought it was a king, but we have another court card. The knight of pentacles, slow and steady progress. I really like this. Loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing and a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. Beautiful. <clears throat> and I like this in this row here with the three of wands so this is progress you are definitely progressing okay you're making positive change in your life you're you're headed toward your wishes coming true you're headed toward abundance however you see abundance you're headed toward satisfaction all right let's get another one here from the angel wisdom tarot one more clarifier all right cancer Clarifying the Hermit, wow. And the Two of Swords, we have the Six of Earth or the Six of Pentacles again. So we have another another very validating message here. <clears throat> and Jeremiah is the Archangel. The good you do comes back to you. See, that's what you need to look out for. Don't keep doing, doing, doing for everyone else and never receive, right? So the good you do comes back to you if you're open to it. An unexpected inflow of abundance, yes borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. Beautiful. Okay, so only share when you can, not to the point that it drains you. No matter who this is, this doesn't have to be, say, homeless people. You might be oversharing with your own kids, okay? Of course, like, we want to give to our children and teach them and whatnot, but sometimes it gets to the point we need to teach them how to provide certain things for themselves depending on their age. You know what I mean? Like it might be time for them to get a job and pay for say half of their cell phone bill or something like that. So um, just be careful. We also have um, Raphael here, I think, with the lover's card. I think that stands for Raphael, but I'm not positive. And um, Jeremiah, so if you like Archangels, look them up. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely an important choice for you to make here, Cancer, and I think this has a lot to do with who you're sharing with. It's time to be open to receive. All right, this is the Tea Leaf Fortune deck. Ooh, what do we have here? Leg, stepping into a new experience. Beautiful. Let's go a little bit further here a couple more stepping into a new experience so this might be new to you you know putting your foot down and saying no I have to take care of myself this time throne position of authority this is up to you you are in a position of authority and it's time to take charge take charge of your own life your own time and let's see what else we have. Teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So this could be the opposite sex in my opinion. It's just someone you are friends with, someone you can sit with and have a cup of tea and just shoot the breeze, you know what I mean? And just um, enjoy being with them. And we also have the lover's card. So this is a connection, this is about communication. So maybe hanging out with a friend you feel like you can be yourself with. I like that for you, Cancer. All right, what else do we have from the Tea Leaf Fortune deck for Cancer? Parrot, someone will gossip about all of your secrets, so be careful in the workplace not to overshare. Remember that if it's in the workplace that it's always business. You may have work friends, but overriding that, that tell yourself this is a business. You have to protect yourself because everybody else is protecting themselves. And if you share too much, that could be used against you. For example, if you're looking for another job and you tell somebody at work, they might tell the wrong person and you could lose your job before you're ready. So that's a message that comes up a lot in my readings. Just be really careful about that. I haven't lost my job due to that, but I have shared with the wrong person 
and it gave me a lot of difficulty in the workplace. So just watch who you trust, but don't shut out true friends. Okay, we have marriage. So for some of you, especially with the lover's card, there's marriage coming up for you or um, like a part, a new partnership in business, um, actual like marriage, like romantic connection. Um, and what was the other thing I was getting with the marriage card? Um, you could be attending a wedding and meeting somebody important. Okay, it could be in business. It could be like um, a new business opportunity. So don't turn down any wedding invitations. Wishbone, a wish will be granted, and you got this here too with the with the nine of cups. Make a wish, okay, and strive for that. Don't just sit back and wait for it to happen. Follow those signs and synchronicities. All right, Cancer. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. I would greatly appreciate that and hit that like button. And also. When you hit the subscribe button, remember to hit all notifications. That way you won't miss anything. All right. What do we have from the Love Angel Oracle cards for Cancer? Okay. Awareness. Awesome. So be aware of those butterflies, the birds, coins on the ground. Um, um, a robin, you know, whatever, whatever, um, you know, animals or symbols mean something to you. Feathers. It says your soul has no interest in judging, correcting, or comparing itself to others. Everyone is at a different level of growth. Okay, keep that in mind. Everyone is a, at a different level of growth, including you, Cancer. We have kindness. Every act of love and kindness raises the vibration of the universe. Beautiful. I like that very much. And remember, you are included in that Cancer, okay? So every act of love and kindness, um, it's allowed to come to you too. You don't have to always be putting that out there and never receive. Open your heart and allow yourself to receive that in return. Beautiful messages, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.